Uh, hey guys, this is going to be a quick little video because I wanted to uh, display an interesting bit of code that I made in my DOS virtual machine. So let's take a look at it. Alright, so let's boot from the system hard disk. Alright, let's hop over to the DOS directory and then let's take a look at the directory listing. See, I made a new directory called test directory, and that's where I tossed all the files to this, so we'll head over there. And in this directory, you can see we have three files, and that's it. So, bin.com doesn't do anything. Yeah, see, that was me thinking you could run a, you could create .com files out of normal text files like batches, but that's not how it works. So that doesn't do anything. Um, test.txt, which is edit.txt, is just a test file in the test folder. We'll close out of that. And then the cool one I made was uh, bin delete, but I didn't get to finish it. Dot bat. Now, before I get into this file, I probably should show you the source code actually. So this is the code. This is pretty poorly written. This is just I was experimenting with conditionals, and um, I actually saw an opportunity to make this loop over itself. So I'll show you what it's supposed to do here. So we'll run bin delete. Dot bat. So you see, it redirects back to the bin in the DOS directory and it asks if you want to delete everything so every normal human being is going to say no right oh no matter how much you spam no it constantly loops on itself so the only option is to reset the machine now in of itself that's whatever I mean that's annoying but whatever the fun would come if you could toss a program up behind that that did stuff while you were distracted with that program. So I want to see, I haven't even actually tried this yet. I wonder if it would work if you actually said yes. Oh sh- It does, and now you don't have any option but to reset because you can't get to any other part of the operating system. And when you reset, let's load into, yep, you have to enter the full shell command line which you don't have. What the f Never mind! I just typed in command.com to screw with it, but apparently you can boot in here without the bin. Although, there isn't really much left, I don't think. Alright, never mind. There's a lot left without the bin. I guess I'll have to expand this file to do a little more than delete the bin. Because apparently if you can just type in command.com, you can boot into uh, DOS. Let's see if we... What, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if on a reset it will uh, boot up properly without asking for the command line again. True. It's going to ask for the full co shell command line, so if you type in command.com you can boot in. Oh, however, you'll be missing the bin, which is a lot of stuff you probably want. So I guess maybe I'll refine this code and uh, make it delete everything. <laughs> what would be the easiest way to do that, actually? If I just deleted DOS, you'd be totally screwed. Yeah. I'll loop this so it deletes DOS instead, and then I'll, uh, I'll cut back to the video and I'll show you that. So I'll be back. Alright, so I just wanted to show you a little problem I'm having trying to uh, finish up my code. So uh, the first thing I decided I wanted to do after this was I wanted to edit the file I made. Oh, oh. See, this is what happens when you have a bin. You can't do anything. So, uh... I guess we'll just do it the old fashioned way. I, d I didn't even do I didn't even delete the directory right. Oh my goodness. I I guess I have to go back to directory. Let's try this. Uh It refuses to work now. Alright, you can't go back any further. The bin's even there, although it has nothing in it. So you might as well. No. How would you remove a directory? RD, maybe? Yeah, it removes an empty directory, so we'll just do RD bin real quick. Okay, so it refuses to remove. Get, get this logic right here. Oh, I'm in the bin. That's why it refuses to remove it, because it can't find it. There we go. Alright. So. Go back to writing a program now that can delete all of DOS on one delete command, and I'll be back. 
Alright, so I reinstalled the entire operating system, and I've rewritten this, uh, this virus, as uh, Trojan, I guess, now, so that it, um, should delete everything if you hit yes. Uh, it still loops if you hit no. If I ever actually am in the virtual machine, and see it hit no, it doesn't care. It doesn't care. So I'm going to restart the machine real quick just to show you the code. Or I'm going to load into the install, the mashing enter. I think it's filed up at. Yep. So that's the um, that's the source for it now. It's even sloppier probably than it was before, and I'm not even sure if it'll run correctly when I do get the payload to activate. But let's give it a shot. Um, just alt text out of that. If I can find alt on my keyboard, file dot bat. Yes. Five files removed. Check directory failed. It won't even load anymore. So you're caught here. So no matter what happens, if the file correctly or like whatever, it doesn't care. No kernel. Shit. I would say that worked. Yeah, your only option is going to be to uh, reformat. Because it appears that you are done. Yep. That is done for. So that worked correctly. However, in my genius, I did not save the... Uh, I did not save it on my other monitor with the perfect code. So I'll have to rewrite this over here. But there you go. Now, the reason I showed this, and it shouldn't be a big deal, is because this is on DOS. If you were to try to do something like this on Windows, if you could even get to that directory, which, let's not kid ourselves, you can't, because, I mean, guess what? CD DOS doesn't exist. Maybe I do CD Windows, I guess. Right, we're just saying uh, CD System32. Jesus, did I not use wide listing? Oh, I did. That's how long it is. But I mean, if you try and delete anything in here, it's not going to happen. Because you don't have administrator privileges. You won't be able to delete anything in here. So you could try this on Windows, but Windows is much more secure than DOS is. You'll never be able to pull DOS something that easily. You'll need some more sophisticated code. But anyways, thanks for watching.